So I want to spend a little bit of time talking about what is Microsoft Intune. I think simply put, Microsoft Intune is a cloud-based solution that allows you to ensure that your employees can use any device that they know and love from their mobile devices, from iOS to Android, or on their computer from Windows to Mac, and then still have access to all the applications and the company data that they need to be able to do their day-to-day -day work. And then from the other side of the house, from IT, for example, how do we then ensure all that devices and all the company data is secured and protected? And then with Microsoft Intune, we want to ensure that you can manage these devices in an approach that makes sense for you. So for example, a company-owned device you're probably going to want to ensure that that is enrolled and then you can, can fully control it from the settings to the features to the security configurations. For example, deploying VPNs or applications or setting passwords and pins on that device. But then when we think about a personal device, often most people don't want a company administrator to have full access to their device. So you know, they could enroll, but also we could just say that they have access to their email or Microsoft Teams, and we're just going to protect that application. So with that, that brings us into a little bit of terminology that I want to talk about. So with Microsoft Intune, we have mobile device management, or MDM, and then we have mobile application management, or MAM. So with that, let's just double click into these and talk a little bit more about them. So firstly, let's talk about mobile device management. And with mobile device management, it really allows you, as you're taking kind of full access of a device, to look after the complete life cycle. But what do we really mean by that? Well, imagine you've just purchased a new iPhone for a user. So before we can do anything on that device when it comes to managing it, we first need to enroll the device into the Microsoft Intune service. And we're not going to talk about all the different enrollment types here, but just know firstly, the device needs to be enrolled. And now at this point, we can configure it to meet our organization's needs. So for example, we can deploy an email profile. We could deploy certificates. Maybe that's needed for Wi-Fi, for example. Or we can deploy mandatory applications like Microsoft Teams or different security tools that you might have. So once we've got the device configured and set up the way that it's going to be productive for the user, now we need to make sure that we can protect that device. So we're going to want to ensure that the device meets all your security and compliance standards. So for example, you might want to put a pin on the device. So every time somebody tries to get access to it, they have to put a pin in in case they lose the device, for example. But also we want to make sure that we can report on things like compliance and protect our environment from for example, if this iPhone happened to be jailbroken, we don't want it to be seeing any of our company data. So once you've protected all your corporate data and so on in the device, now, and the last stage is support, is one part of it. So you know, how do we, if somebody has an issue with a device, how do we remote support it? But also on the other side is how do we retire the device? So maybe this device is now out of warranty and we don't need it anymore. How would we go ahead and wipe it? Do we need to wipe all the data or select amount of data, like just all the data in the applications? Or if somebody's lost the device, they're on the train and suddenly they've forgotten their device and they've got out, well, we don't want anyone to have access to anything on that. So we want to ensure that we can remotely wipe that device and protect it. So as you can see, we're really going through the full life cycle of that device from when we've purchased it to enrolled it all the way through to when that device is no longer in service. So that's mobile device management. And then we come on to mobile application management. And this is somewhat probably what you expect. It allows us to publish and push and configure and protect applications on a device. But the other side, which I think is really interesting, is actually how do we protect applications and the data within them? So as part of our mobile application management, there's a couple of ways that you can actually protect a device. And one of those is using conditional access. So we can secure on who has access and how they can access applications. For example, if they're not coming from a compliant device or an enrolled device, for example, then we don't want them to have access to our corporate data. So that's one part of it. 
But the other side of it is using app protection policies. And I've made a whole video about this and I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. But this allows you to then protect the application and what happens with that data. So for example, if you have an email that's in Outlook on your, on your mobile phone, well, you want to probably be able to move some of that data to other Office applications, but you wouldn't want to be able to move that corporate into information into Gmail or the Notes application on your iPhone. So with app protection policies, we can control what users can do with the data within these applications, and we can have a set other security boundaries like needing a pin and things like that. So mobile application management allows you to really configure the full lifecycle of your applications and then really allow you to be flexible with different protection policies as well. The next thing I wanna show is a high level reference architecture for Microsoft Intune. And this is, we're looking at just from the Microsoft documentation. They've done a great job of putting this together. So when we look at this at the top, we've got all of our cloud-based applications and then we have the device and the web console at the bottom. But let's just spend a little bit of time talking a little bit deeper into this. So on the right hand side at the top here, we have Azure Active Directory. And this really allows us to do all of our authentication and authorization. And that can be from our device, whether it's Office 365 applications. So for example, Outlook, Teams, OneDrive, so on and so forth, or cloud-based applications that your company uses and your users need to access. The other thing we can do in Azure Active Directory is make use of conditional access policies. But what's really neat with Microsoft Intune is we can create what we call device compliance policies. So we can put things for like, what's a minimum version of iOS? Is this device jailbroken? Is the device deemed to have a low threat protection score? And so on and so forth. But then what we can do with conditional access policies is based on the compliance of that device. So if it comes back as non-compliant, we can now block it to have access to different resources within our organization. So a really great integration there as well. And then when we come across the Microsoft Intune, this gets to the bits we've already been talking about. So it allows you to configure your devices, it allows us to protect data, so the applications and all the data on our devices, and then it allows us to manage applications as we've seen earlier with our application lifecycle. And then in the middle, we've got all our different connectors and we're not gonna to spend too much time on that, but that's things like mobile threat, telecom, so on and so forth. And then at the bottom, we have our device, which is connecting to all these different pieces. And on the left-hand side, really we're showing that, and as we talked about at the beginning, that Microsoft Intune is a cloud-based service and therefore, from an administration point of view, we pretty much do all of our work in the web console. And that does connect through what we call Graph API. And we're not gonna talk about too much of that today, but this allows us to do some really interesting things as well from a programmatic point of view. So that's the high level architecture to design of Microsoft Intune. The next thing I wanna spend a little bit of time talking about is Microsoft Intune is actually part of what we call Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So what Microsoft Endpoint Manager is, is really a way for us to be able to bring all these fantastic Microsoft Endpoint Management tools and combine services together. So for example, from Microsoft Intune that we've already been talking about, to Configuration Manager, which you may already have investments in and be using it within your environment. But then also things like Desktop Analytics, Endpoint Analytics, to Autopilot and the security tooling. So with Microsoft Endpoint Manager, you can really make use of these tools in ways that make sense for your organization where you are today, and then also plan for the future. So for example, you can make use of maybe Configuration Manager that you're running on-premises and you might be doing device management there, but you then can bring that into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager to make use of things like desktop analytics to really start understanding your environment. Or you might wanna be able to move workloads from Configuration Manager to Microsoft Intune. For example, you might wanna just do your Windows updates in Microsoft Intune instead of Configuration Manager. So this is really a fantastic combination of these endpoint tools. And 
this is really just simplified naming conventions and how we think about some of the licensing as well. So just worth knowing that Microsoft Intune squarely fits within the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So lastly then, when we come to Microsoft Intune, let's just take a second just to look at the licensing of the platform. You can get this in many different ways. So this could either be in the Microsoft 365 suite, so E3, E5, for example, or some frontline workers here as well. You can also get it in education, government, or part of the enterprise mobility plus security suites, E3 and E5. And lastly here, you could also get it as part of the Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Well, that's all I wanted to share today on an overview of Microsoft Intune. I think this is a fantastic mobile device and application management platform and really can give great business benefits when you start looking at that full Microsoft Endpoint Management Suite. But for now, if you have any questions or anything that you need guidance on, let me know in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next week for another video.